everybody, welcome back. This is the third time I've made this video. I made the first two at like four and five in the morning and I was able to, to cobble, cobble them together and, and make a video. And I was watching it this morning right before I was uploading it. Man, talk about low energy. I should not be making videos that early in the morning. Um, so new rule of thumb, if the sun hasn't come up, I'm not shooting any videos. Okay, so I, I want to tell you a little story. First off, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that we're giving away one of these EMP Shield devices uh, for a 100th subscriber giveaway. We're going to give away either one of these whole house models or a 12-volt vehicle model. Your choice of, of whoever wins. And I'll, I'll be making a video about that when we hit 100 subscribers. So I was talking to one of the guys that works at EMP Shield and he told me that he had just got back from delivering a replacement device to one of the rural water districts in the area and the reason he had to uh, send get a replacement device to him is because we had some really really heavy storms roll through the area and the pump house their, their main pump house got hit by lightning now this water district handles the northern uh, northern side of a medium-sized midwestern city and the rural area just north of it and there's about 223,000 people in this uh, metro area and about uh, 50 60 70 thousand of them i don't know excuse me i don't know exactly how many uh, are serviced by this water district but so they got hit by lightning and the emp shield was destroyed now let me let me show you some pictures so here's the first picture. This is a picture of the wall that the device was attached to. And you can see the four mounting screws and you see scorch marks right underneath that device. So what happened was the lightning hit the building and it literally blew the device off the wall. When they came in in the morning, it was hanging by the, the wire. Okay, so here's the second picture. The second picture is of the bottom of the device. There was so much energy in that lightning strike when it blew it off the wall it literally cracked the case um, you can see the scorch marks uh, and these cases are not cheap thin plastic cases these are these are really really heavy duty cases uh, in order to do that there had to be a lot of power traveling through that okay so the third picture that we see here is uh, the front of the vise so looking at the picture on the, the left and the right hand sides, you can see the rivets underneath the label where they've been popped out. Those rivets hold the, the metal face, face plate on and it literally blew those rivets out. And the only reason why they didn't go flying across the room is because that label was on there. And those LED lights, the very top one, if you look really close, you can see it's all black. It, uh, looking at it really close, the, the LED had been fused because of the, the energy flowing through the device. Now, here's, here's one of the problems that, in my opinion, EMP, has, EMP Shield has in marketing. Um, the only way that you can test one of these devices is if you've got $40,000, $50,000 and access to a lab that can generate an E1 pulse. Um, there's literally no other way to test it other than an actual EMP detonation. And... I, we can agree none of us want that so that that means that you and I as the consumer have to rely on the data that EMP Shields provides and I'll put a link they, they've got a really good t uh, page where they got all the test data from it um, there's a lot of skeptics out there I mean there are several prominent prepper type YouTubers that have poo pooed EMP Shield uh, refuse to look at even look at the data because they're so certain that it doesn't work and and there's one of the problems with with EMP information out there on the, the internet is there's so many people that that know so little about it that think they know so much and, and you know like I said before in, in our in the other video about this is, is I I'm not an expert on EMPs I just happen to know some guys that are you know so as consumers we have to take the testing data that they provide and and just make a decision off of that you know now where EMP shield can prove 
that the device works is as a whole house surge protector. Um, this incident here is a prime is a prime example. You know that the had the EMP shield not worked like they said it was going to, i.e., get destroyed by the lightning. Um, there could have been fifty to seventy thousand people without water, and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage to the pumps at this this pump house. And it did work. It worked exactly like like they said, and I I just showed you the pictures to prove it. So. You know that it, it it just goes to prove that that EMP shield is not lying in the data as far as the lightning goes. Now the skeptic can turn around and say, well, there's no proof that the the EMP shield will work that way too. Well, you know what? There's not. There's not. And if if you've got fifty six fifty forty thousand dollars to get it tested, get one and test it. In fact, I will I will get you one so that you can send it to a lab and you can have it tested. You know, independently from EMP Shield and independently from the, the labs that that EMP Shield used to test test the devices, you know. But nobody's done that. Nobody, as far as I know, nobody's nobody's done that because it's easier to sit on the internet and talk about it than actually do it and prove prove that that it's it doesn't work. You know, so the the whole point of this video is not to sell you EMP shield devices. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I invested in the company. I want it to succeed. But that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video so that you as the, the consumer can see the information and, and get access to the information in order to make the decision yourself. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to some other person on the, on the Internet. Go look at the testing data. And, and I'm not going to lie to you. Unless you're a numbers guy, it can be really dry. But go look at the testing data and decide for yourself. You know, we know that it works for a whole house protector. And, and, and in my book right there, that's, that's more than enough reason to buy one. You know, for $350 for one of these, $50 off if you use the uh, coupon code below for each device you buy, you get a whole house protector that works. Now, is this the end-all, be-all protection for the electronics in your house? No, it's not. What it is, is it's one part of an integrated defense strategy to protect against EMP shield or EMP strikes, CMEs, and lightning strikes. You know, I, I'm a firm advocate. If you're going to put one of these on your houses, you should also have either a generator or solar or some off-grid type of energy source attached to it. Because what will happen is something like that will happen the grid will go down in, in a majority of the country. There are there are electric co-ops that do have these devices on their transformers and stuff, and they are protected. So there are places, and, and I, I couldn't begin to tell you where they are, um, but there are places that are protected, but I guarantee you most of the country is not. Um, so you have this to protect your electronics. You have the alternate, alternative power source in order to provide power to your electronics after the after an event or an incident and that's what protects you it's it's the whole the whole plan not just one device not just the generator so i'm i'm a, i'm telling you if you're going to if you're going to buy one of these you should also invest in uh, especially for if you're buying it for your house in alternative power you know we're in the process we're trying to get solar in and we're, we've got a, a generator on order so that we can we can be independent from the the grid should something happen now here's something else that's kind of cool I, I at least i think it was cool so last week uh fox news online had an article about uh how vulnerable the united states was to an emp attack and one of the people they talked to in the article was one of the guys that works at EMP Shield and, and he gave a pretty pretty prominent quote. And I'll I'll link it below. There's I, I found it on Fox News Online and then a, a independent website called uh, White House Wire. Uh, so I'll put the links I'll put the links down there for that. And so you know that just goes to show you that, that the the national media as unengaged as it's been in this whole question about the security of the, the grid is now starting to turn to EMP Shield people 
and asking for quotes and, and data so that they can at least I don't know what they're doing. It seems to me anytime they write these articles, it's to fear monger. But there's there's more concern. There's more concern about it at higher levels. Um, EMP Shield talks on a regular basis with, with high-level people in the government about pr- protecting and hardening the grid. Um, so it's out there. There are people. There are people that are concerned enough about it that they're talking to EMP Shield as it on a, a national security level so if, if they're doing it then maybe you and i should start paying attention right so again testing data i'll put it below uh, the coupon code is going to be down below it and i'll put the links to the those two websites so you can go read the article it's a, it's a short article um so go do that i'm going to I got to get back to work. I'm actually home. I had to let the dogs out because Yoda's out doing some errands today. And uh, I just want want to tell you guys, you know, we're doing this. We're doing this because we want you guys to succeed. So until next time, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button. Share this video out with somebody that might find it interesting. Comment below. If you're a skeptic and you're still a skeptic, tell tell us why. I I personally want to know why you somebody's a skeptic about about one of these devices um i just i i don't see i i I don't see the downside of of having one on your house or on your vehicle and i just i want somebody to to tell me tell me why they believe they do and if you were a skeptic and you've changed your mind let us know let tell us what you why you changed your mind so that other people might you know they they might not think about it the way you do so go and let us know then Most of all, I want you guys to go out. I want you to go out and live a life done free today. All right? Take care. Grumpy G. Claire. (laughs) Thanks, Milo.